Hi, my name is Adam Kokesh, and John McAfee was my running mate when I was running for the Libertarian Party nomination for president. On October the 5th of 2020, John McAfee was arrested in Spain at the request of the United States Department of Justice for tax evasion. The Spanish National Court authorized his extradition to face charges in Tennessee on June 23rd of this year. The Spanish authorities announced the same day that he had died by suicide from hanging. Days later, after international outcry and doubt cast on their official story, they announced that he had a suicide note in his pocket when he died. Here are the top 10 reasons I believe that John McAfee was murdered. Number one, he said he wouldn't do it. Two years before his death, he tweeted, quote, getting subtle messages from U.S. officials saying, in effect, we're coming for you, McAfee, we're going to kill yourself. I got a tattoo today just in case. If I suicide myself, I didn't. I was whacked. Check my right arm. Number two, he got a tattoo to show he was serious. In the same tweet, he included a picture of his new whacked tattoo. Number three, the day he supposedly killed himself, he was on the phone with his wife, Janice. She said the last thing he said to her was, quote, I love you. I will call you in the evening. Number four. Also, according to Janice, the story of John's suicide was already prepared and presented to the public before I or his attorneys were even notified of his death. Number five. Even though he had just lost his extradition hearing, he had a chance to appeal before the actual extradition. Six, John McAfee had nothing he was ashamed of. He wasn't diddling little boys. He wasn't stealing from the church. He wasn't eating gold-plated babies. This was for not paying taxes, or in other words, not submitting to government theft. Number seven, the suicide note was not announced with his death, but days later, what better way to scream to the world, we murdered John McAfee. Number eight, when he allegedly committed suicide, the guards just so happened to not be paying attention and the relevant security camera footage is conveniently missing. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. Number nine, also similar to Epstein, although not from being friendly with them. McAfee had dirt on some of the most powerful people in the world. He even said publicly that he had 31 terabytes of data detailing government corruption. And finally, number 10, John was a fighter. There's no way that this man who so gladly challenged government injustice every chance he got and would have gladly given his dying breath fighting from a jail cell in the U.S., decided to end his life because of a legal setback. No fucking way. Since he was my running mate, I fear that I may be killed under similar circumstances, so I'm making this video not only to memorialize John McAfee, but also to serve as some protection for myself. I will say it again, I, Adam Charles Kokesh of Sound Mind, Body, and Spirit, will never take my life while in government custody. I am disappointed and disturbed, although not surprised by the mainstream media's reporting and general lack of reporting on his death, mostly parroting the official story. And while I've done several interviews about his death for independent media, I have yet to do a single one or even be quoted or questioned for a single piece of coverage from ye old corporate media. John's story needs to be told. John McAfee should not have done a single day in prison, let alone nine months. John was not arrested because he was evading taxes. He was arrested for being loud about not paying taxes. The message from the American government and governments all over the world is clear. Give us your money or we will kill you. Death to taxation. Long live John McAfee.